it's all in your hand. The floor is yours. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, and thanks for the technical forum. Ladies and gentlemen, the topic of my presentation is Unleash Laser Frosting, new possibilities and improvements for laser frosting and structuring. During that presentation, um, after a short introduction of myself, we will speak about the improvements, what was the motivation for that topic. We will speak a lot about frosting, a new development, already existing things, maybe some people don't know yet. We have a short video. After the video, we will speak more about frosting. In the end, we have also some results. And um, let's go. So my name is Alexander Aminidis. I'm the key account manager for Access Laser Technic. Let's speak first about the improvements. With the newest hardware and improvements of our software, we are able to have better and improved dynamic movements of the scan head. This results in even better accuracy, faster acceleration and deceleration speeds. Overall, this results in a 20% faster frosting time and even a 30% faster process time for other applications like engraving, marking, and others. These improvements can be used for both technology, the nano and the picosecond laser. And also, I'm very glad that I can announce that we soon have a software with 64-bit. We have already an alpha version, and hopefully we can release it mid of this year. So what was the motivation for the topic? Why, again, frosting? We as a company, Axis, we always are eager to improve our products. And this is only possible, and it helps us a lot when we get feedback from our customers. So after the technical forum last year, we started a questionnaire, an anonymous questionnaire. We sent it out to randomly chosen mints. Um, some of them were statements, some of the other ones were um, private mints. And we were analyzing the results. Overall, our customers were very happy with the uh, current frosting process, but still there was a very high desire to improve and get new things when it comes to frosting and structuring. On a side note, we got a quite a good customer satisfaction result. So let's speak about a new thing. We call it the gradient frosting. The gradient frosting is a software tool. You're able to import a picture, prefer a grayscale image, and the software will translate that image to a real frosting. By doing this, the software will see where are darker areas in the picture, where are brighter areas in the picture, and we change the density of the frosting. So we achieved that in some areas we have a stronger frosting, in other areas we have a weaker frosting. We have a perfect smooth transition, no visible hard cuts in this. All right. What does that mean for multiple frosting? Multiple frosting is also not something new. You currently do it when you have the 2D vector data of the areas you want to frost. And for every specific vector, you make a different power level for the laser or filling or density level for the, for the frosting. But with a gradient tool, you can do that also by having different colors in the picture. But here you're able to do multiple frostings and a gradient effect combined. But what if you don't have any data? You don't have any picture or you don't have any vector designs. So in that case, you have to create your own data, your own vectors to make a frosting with the laser. In this case, the frosting assistant comes in very handy. The frosting assistant is a software wizard that helps and simplifies the frosting process. So we can take a picture of your original workpiece with our HD camera systems. We take that picture, we redraw the outline, the areas what we want to frost, and then use that created vector data to make a frosting. We can even improve and simplify that process by using a different hardware, an additional hardware, a professional drawing screen, a touch screen with a pen. In the next slides, we will start a short video that will explain the frosting assistant process from making the picture, redrawing it, bring it back to the machine, and start the frosting process. Please enjoy.
So, after you have witnessed my acting skills, I am pleased to present you the final results. We used the gradient effect and the rainbow color done with a picosecond laser. We applied it on a tool, on a die, and striked it to a gold and silver coin. These are the real images. This is not fake. This is the final outcome, just transferred by a striking process. I want to thank the company Fritz Roy that helps us striking these metals. With our improvements we have done for the, for the frosting itself, for the speed, the whole frosting, which um, is more than 60% of the whole area, took just 16 minutes. Imagine if you have a design where you have a landscape and you want to have some clouds there. And uh, normally what you do is you engrave maybe some clouds and you make a white frosting on it, just a static white frosting. With the gradient frosting effect, you can take a picture of a cloud and use that image to make a cloud look like frosting on top of this. Let's speak a bit um, about frosting with the picosecond laser. The picosecond laser is just much more better, precise, faster when it comes to engraving and structuring. But it's also very possible to do a good looking white frosting with the picosecond laser. Still, a nanosecond laser has a higher variety of different frostings, but if you're looking for a handoff or a couple of white static frostings, Pico can also very well do it. In the last years, we have seen that coins and metals develop in shape, heavily domed shapes or even completely freeform. And frosting and structuring needs to keep up with that change. So with the dynamic focus control by Axis, you are able to apply a frosting or structuring on a free form shaped or heavily domed die. When we use the dynamic focus control, we just need the 2D data, the 3D model of the workpiece, and the software will automatically wrap the uh, 2D design on top of the free form and the focus will follow along the workpiece. We have a couple hundred of these coins and medals striked and I have it here. So if you want to see one of them, if you want to make sure that it's the real look Please visit us at our booth T11 here at the World Money Fair. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>